What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So many crazy things happening in the tech world recently. Um, the new Galaxy Z Flips and Moto Razors foldable displays are already breaking for some customers. Uh, there was a fake news article published a day or two ago about Verizon wanting to cut sales of the Pixel line because it wasn't selling well enough. This channel broke 4,000 subscribers. I mean, a lot of awesome stuff. But a couple days ago, Google released the Android 11 developer preview for their Pixel devices, and I've been using it since it came out. And there are five things that I wanna show you guys in this video. So let's get into it. So it's important to know that this particular developer version of Android 11 is essentially made for developers only, right? This is, I would say probably months earlier than what Google has normally released to the general public. And even to install it, you have to run an ADB sideload command through a terminal or a command prompt of some kind. So it's only made for developers to get their apps ready to run on Android 11 as soon as possible. So it's not as feature packed as you might expect, but there are a few things that I believe are worth mentioning. And number one is bubbles. So yeah, floating notification bubbles are now built in with Android 11, and it's actually already working on the Android Messages app that comes preloaded by default on your Google Pixel devices. So essentially the way this works is when you receive a text, you can swipe down on your notification shade, push and hold on that notification, and you can select the option to show as bubble. Now this will essentially pop that conversation out in like this floating chat head style thing that you may have seen if you use an app like Facebook Messenger or other popular apps that already have this feature built in. And it'll allow you to keep this conversation floating around on your screen so you have access to it regardless of what you're doing or what other app you have open. Now for me personally, I've never really been a fan of floating chat bubbles, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who will probably enjoy this and get a kick out of this type of functionality. So yeah, it's here with Android 11 and it's pretty cool. Number two is enhanced app permissions. So normally whenever you open an app, the app has to technically ask for your permission in order to access certain parts of your phone. It could be your storage, it could be your camera, it could be your contacts, it could be a variety of different things in some circumstances. But essentially, whenever you launch an app, you're greeted to a prompt that either has you allow access or deny access. But with Android 11, they're adding one extra option, and that's only this time. So it'll allow you to select an application to have access to a certain part of your phone for just that one use. Now, whenever you force close the application or essentially close out of the application, once you go to relaunch it, it will then have to prompt you again in order to access that portion of your device. Now, enhanced app security and permissions is always a good thing. I'm happy to see Google do this, and I know a lot of people who are very, very particular about what information specific apps can access on their phone are going to be really happy to see this feature coming in Android 11. Number three is screen recording. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've seen screen recording in Android betas before, and they've typically always been pulled prior to the final release, but it is back again in this beta, and it's actually accessible right from your quick setting toggle section. So you can go in there and enable it. You'll see a little prompt. You just hit start recording, and it'll record everything that you have on your screen. And whenever you're done, it plays back everything that you recorded on your screen. So functionality-wise, it works. Let's just hope that Google decides to keep it all the way through to the next version of Android 11. Number four is a scheduled dark theme. So yeah, Android 10 brought the dark theme that was native that all of us really wanted, and Android 11 brings the ability to schedule that dark theme. So this is really gonna be for those of you out there who really wanna take control of a lot more customization aspects in terms of your device's theme. Uh, you'll essentially be able to set dark mode to come on at a custom time of your choosing, or you can set dark mode to come on in between sunrise and sunset. So if you ask me, this probably should have been built in with Android 10, but I believe the saying better late than never applies in this particular situation. So glad to see it, but just a year or so late. And number five is a new motion sense feature. So yeah, this particular one is going to be exclusive to the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL, but they both received a new motion sense feature, and that is the ability to play or resume music playback by tapping the air above your phone. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I first read this one, I thought to myself, wow, that is kind of lame. 
But whenever I tried it out, it actually feels really, really cool. Now the whole idea of Google implementing motion sense gestures and features into the Pixel was to make it seem more futuristic, right? A simpler way of you interacting with your phone that doesn't even require you to touch it. And when I tested it, I don't wanna get anyone's hopes up, but it worked for me essentially 100% of the time and I tested it on several songs several different times. So I'm glad to see that this feature is here and it works, but I'm also hoping that there may have been some backend fixes on the motion sense features that Google didn't necessarily mention because when I first got the Pixel and we reviewed it, it wasn't the most reliable thing, but it kind of reinvigorates that excitement that you first had whenever Google brought this feature. So I'm glad to see it, um, but unfortunately it will be limited to the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. So if you're a Pixel 3 or older owner, um, I'm sorry, you won't necessarily see this one, um, but for the Pixel 4 owners, this is definitely cool. All right guys, so that just about does it in terms of five features that I felt like were worth mentioning with the new Android 11 developer preview. Now again, this particular developer preview is really, really new. I mean, there's not even a website you can go to to enroll in the Android 11 beta yet because it's not even technically official. You have to go to a website, download the OTA file for your device, and manually sideload it onto the device and install it through recovery mode on your phone. So it's super, super new. Um, but I'm sure Google will release new updates for it and those new updates should come with hopefully newer features. And if you guys want, we can continue to update these videos to show you guys what new features come out with more Android 11 betas. So if that's something you wanna see, let us know in the comment section. As always, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing because we recently broke 4,000 and I can't thank you guys enough for that. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace preloaded on a lot of pixels. So now, whenever you receive a text message from someone, you can swipe down to open your notification shade, notification shit.